फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एंटिटी नोन एज इंटस्टिशियल लंग डिजीज पुट सिंपली इट्स नोन एज लंग फाइब्रोसिस सो मेनी टाइम्स पर्सन एक्सपीरियंस ब्रीदिंग ट्रबल और कफ विच इज क्रोनिक एंड समटाइम्स इट इज टेकन एज अ साइन ऑफ ब्रोंकाइटिस और एलर्जीज एंड दे आर प्रिस्क्राइब सम इनहेलर्स और सम मेडिकेशन और कफ सीरप्स बट एक्चुअली अंडरलाइंग कॉज कुड बी ए लंग फाइब्रोसिस सो लंग फाइब्रोसिस इज अ सीरियस इशू वेर इन the lungs which should be normally like a sponge where the air should come and go in outside get replaced with spongy tissue get replaced with something fibrous or hard tissue like a scar tissue so interstitial lung disease means the supporting structure of your lungs are becoming hard wherein the oxygen transfer or the air flow is interrupted hence it causes limitation in your respiratory system you can have breathing discomfort dry cough which is chronic in nature and there are many causes of lung fibrosis which are as simpler as exposure to pollution or any mining asbestos exposure to certain things like pigeon exposure or exposure to some allergens on a chronic basis and sometimes it is because of autoimmune disease and connective tissue disorders these are all serious diseases which causes lung fibrosis a person with lung fibrosis might be unaware that he is having a lung fibrosis to an extent that sometimes we see the patient when wherein his oxygen levels are already low because the fact that it is chronic and it is happening for long term so the symptoms are not coming henceforth and they have slowly and lingering developing this condition to an extent that becomes irreversible so that is why any person who has been diagnosed as lung fibrosis or interstitial lung disease there is a algorithmic approach to the diagnosis which includes a detailed history especially of exposure to any allergens pigeon exposure or to environmental toxin or pollution certain drug intakes and conditions like connective tissue disorder or autoimmune disease which are also causing these type of problem secondly there need to be a detailed investigation including a ct scan of your chest lung function and sometimes we take a lung biopsy by doing a bronchoscopy procedure